Look at yourself. You're just an old man. Yeah, that's life. You have a bank account? You have money in the bank? How much money do you have? Uh, nah, don't have a place. I'm just renting. How about a family? You have a wife? Kids? No? And I don't have a wife, but I guess that means I'm free from nagging. What about that PhD we were gonna get? How about your publications? And uh, I don't have a PhD, but I do have a website. And millions of people come and look at the information I put on my website. So I guess life is pretty good after all. Hello everybody, I'm Uncle Han Zi, or in English, Richard Sears. Uh, well, I grew up in a small town in Oregon, Medford, Oregon. Everybody in Medford spoke English. Uh, we were out of town and I saw this uh, girl, so I was about 10. It was the first time I ever saw a Chinese. And I was uh, quite enamored uh, because she was uh, so different. So when I was 18, I ran away from home. I wanted to see the world. I hitchhiked around Canada, United States, Mexico, about 25,000 miles. Now, when I was 22, I decided I wanted to learn Chinese, and I got to Taiwan. I didn't speak any Chinese, didn't have any friends, and had $80 in my pocket. I called my parents once a year, and I talked for three minutes and it cost the equivalent of about 3,000 renminbi. So I would write letters to my parents, and it would take maybe two months to get a letter back and forth. So I was very lonely. In 1994, I had a near-fatal heart attack, and then I had my first heart surgery, but that changed my life. Then I asked myself, if I absolutely knew I only had one year, what would I do? And I was a programmer, and I decided to computerize the Shouwen Jianzi. My first idea was I'm going to make a database, a program and I used all my money to develop my website. In 1990, computers were quite primitive. By 1994, computers were advancing very rapidly. 2,000 people were making websites. Finally, by 2002, I had a database of 100,000 characters. But in 2011, Xinglong uh, Boke found out about my website, then my life changed. Uh, I became Uncle Hans. Uh, I started learning Chinese when I was 22. For the past 30 years, my main interest has been trying to figure out the pictographic origins of Chinese characters. I'm constantly thinking, what is the everyday Chinese like 5,000 years ago? Almost no modern person thinks about. But if you're going to understand modern Chinese characters, you need to understand the ancient Chinese mind. Dear Richard, I was so glad to see you. I am very proud of your accomplishments in China. I just wish I could see you every day. The last Christmas card I got from my mother before she died, and she wrote it and she said she was uh, proud of all the stuff that I'd done uh, with Chinese and with other things. And then she, yeah, that was her last letter. Love you.
Mama. My mother basically supported uh, psychologically. My mother, when she was young, she had totally, she had black hair, you know, black and straight. My, my father died when I ran away from home at 18. So the question is, uh, now I'm 70, my parents are dead, I don't have a family, I'm not married, no children, what's important? There's a famous poem, Luo Shiming, and uh, it's about uh, a Chinese who is happy. He's not very rich, but he lives in a poor house, but it's good enough. He has food and he has friends and he has books. And basically that's my philosophy. Uh, I have enough money for t today and the next few months. You know, I live in a okay house, uh, but I have a lot of friends and I have enough books. And that's the only thing that's important. Uh,性趣爱好和理想,有追求的人。他觉得很乐观,我觉得这也是一种非常值得我们年轻人学习的一种人生态度。很多人会,会觉得他很可怜的时候,我就觉得他不可怜,就是他比很多人的生活都要